Here's a great tip about relationships that most people don't understand, acknowledge and participate in the relationship with people around them, especially their partner. In relationships, there's a thing called the exchange principle, a philosophy called exchange principle. Let me give an example of that. Let's say, for example, that your partner has something that's high value to them. I'll just make it up. Let's say you're going to date your new man or your new woman. So you're going to be dating Greg or you're going to be dating Julie. And let's say it's Greg. And Greg has been playing golf well before he met you every Friday afternoon from three o'clock to five o'clock with his friends. You come along now and Greg comes into your world. And as he comes into your world, golf and his friends are a high value to him. But over time, the family come along and things change. What you will do there is you will try and take away Greg's high value. So you'll say to Greg one day, Greg, the children are here now. We've had our first child. I think you should be home in the evening on Friday evenings now to be here to help me with the children. Now, what happens there is that Greg will absolutely adhere to that. He will lose that high value that he's had for many, many years. But understand this, subconsciously deep down inside Greg, there is a process in there, process that I'm talking to you about of the exchange principle. Now, you will have something of high value to you. And know this, because you took away Greg's high value, he will subconsciously take away and remove and challenge you on your high value. So whatever it is that you're doing that doesn't sit too well with Greg and you've taken Greg's value away, now Greg subconsciously will start to destroy and take away your value. That's called the exchange principle. So what do you do in a relationship to honor the value of those around you and those in your relationship so that you can continue to own your high value? Is this, when Greg comes home on a Friday at three o'clock, you have the golf clubs or you say to him, Greg, don't forget to get your golf clubs and go play your golf. And what will Greg do subconsciously? Subconsciously, Greg will honor your high value things, the very things that you're worried that Greg is gonna challenge. Let's say you're Greg and it's Julie now. And Julie has been going out with her friends every Saturday night to play bingo cards, drink alcohol, whatever it is, from six o'clock to nine o'clock. And she's been doing it for years. And the same principle is going to apply. So know this, know the high value of your partner support it don't challenge it and they will support and not challenge your high values and there's a relationship tip